Hello, my name is James Spiro and we're here in Tel Aviv celebrating the top 50 most promising startups coming out of Israel in 2024. I'm joined now with Yael Macias, the head of marketing at Prompt Security. Prompt Security was voted number 32 this year and Yael, thank you so much for taking the time. Thank you, James, for having me here today. I'd like to understand a bit more about what Prompt Security does. So please, in your own words, tell us a bit about what you folks do. Absolutely. Um, so. At Prompt Security, we're on a mission to empower organizations to safely and securely unleash the power of generative AI. Uh, generative AI is everywhere, and the way we secure it is by delivering a complete platform for Gen AI security. Meaning, at every touch point of Gen AI in the organization, whether it's employees using uh, ChatGPT, Jasper, MidJourney, and so on, or developers using uh, GitHub Copilot, like AI Code Assistant, or organizations that are building with Gen AI. Um, these days there's sort of a feeling of uh, FOMO or the need to innovate uh, using Gen AI. So we want to make sure we're empowering organizations to use it at any touch point without worrying about security and safety risks. Um, Generative AI, obviously, it's everywhere since uh, ChatGPT was uh, released in November of 2022. The adoption is unlike anything we've seen before. And it brings wonderful efficiencies and it brings uh, the opportunity to do so much more. But at the same time, it opens the door to a new array of risks that we didn't know about or that were not uh, the same with other technologies. Okay, thank you. So that sounds super interesting and definitely um, very current. You know, some of the some of the big hot uh, hot words coming out of the tech sector this year is Gen AI, obviously, but also cybersecurity. So I've noticed cybersecurity is always in the forefront of tech because it always needs to innovate with the things that are the threats, so uh, the attacks. Who are some of your customers, and how? Uh, what What are their biggest threats that you folks are protecting them from? Absolutely. So as you very well said, uh, with any like a new technology, there's always like a new uh, potential attack surface. But in the case of Gen AI, it's something that's um, almost a bit different to everything we've seen before. First, because Gen AI is everywhere in the organization, right? It's employees that maybe have absolutely nothing to do with tech or with innovation or with security, but they're just using it on their day to day. Now, on the more traditional concern side or the, the, the compliance, the data privacy, of course, we have here the risk of employees simply leaking corporate information to these new tools. Now, traditionally, you could say, well, yeah, data exfiltration. But now the problem is that with LLMs, this information can now be replicated in other endpoints uh, since LLMs are trained on the data that gets inputted to them. So that's one security concern. There's also the security concern of prompt injection. Once you open, for example, a customer facing chatbot, let's say, I don't know, a vacation planner, right? Back in the day, you would have a human being sitting on the other side of that conversation. Now you have a uh, an application that's powered by generative AI. And users, without necessarily a lot of technical knowledge, can suddenly become hackers, can um, lead the LLM to behave in ways it's not supposed to, and this can cause tremendous uh, reputational damage, even legal damage. And we've seen this, like sometimes it's more of a funny situation, or some funny tweets on X where somebody enticed uh, a uh, car dealership chatbot to sell a like, car for one dollar. And this was all over a few months ago. But besides the jokes and that it's funny and everything, this can cause like very severe reputational damages. So that's kind of another brand new attack vector that we were not necessarily familiar with in the past. Now, in terms of our, our customers and, and the adoption, the very interesting thing is that, of course, we have like the more traditional CISO, IT security leader that's naturally concerned about data privacy, data security, compliance, and so on. But with Gen AI, what's happened is something very interesting because the teams within the organization that are innovating with Gen AI and are building Gen AI products, like a data scientists, head of AI, CTOs, and so on, suddenly they need to take uh, into consideration these security concerns. Um, so security suddenly takes like a, a place in the table, and we're there to help with that. That sounds amazing. It sounds like there are a lot of problems coming out of the, oh, sorry, I don't like the word problems, a lot of challenges coming out of the Gen AI space, but folks like you are doing everything they can to protect us and enterprises. Yael Macias, Head of Marketing at number 32 on our list, Prompt Security. Thank you so much for taking the time. Thank you so much for having me.